my name's Karen Burke. I'm a Gestalt psychotherapist, uh, a supervisor and a trainer. As uh, John said, I do do uh, a certain amount of training at the Manchester Institute and I've left some leaflets and bits for anyone that's interested. However, when John asked me uh, to come up and talk about anxiety, like many Gestalt therapists, what I initially did was actually go to what is generally regarded as the seminal book for Gestalt therapists, which was written in 1951 by Pearls, Hefline and Goodman called Gestalt Therapy. Some of you may know it, others may not. There has been a great deal of further theory since then. When I looked at the book, there are actually six different passages varying in length from a whole chapter to just sentences here and there, how we will work with anxiety as Gestalt practitioners. And these were the quotes that I decided to use today. Suppression of excitement produces the breathing difficulty, which is anxiety. Anxiety is the neurotic symptom par excellence. It is a simple psychosomatic event. Anxiety is the experience of breathing difficulty during any blocked excitement. It may seem too simple. However, hopefully I'll be able to um, further a little more on the theory. As you can see, breathing is actually really, really important. And so why is it important? Because when we become anxious, often the breathing will become shallow. I will be talking more about this later on. However, when we remember that breathing is our major support system, stop breathing, that's it. You, know, you no longer live. So it is our primary support system. And how we breathe is very, very important. And often people who are experiencing anxiety will show a significant shallowness of breath. So what? The difference that will make to our clients is that sustained shallow breathing doesn't give the carbon dioxide enough time to send the oxygen around the body. So in fact what happens is, is that the muscles and the organs, when breath is given out too quickly, too shallowly, what happens is, is that a panic starts to happen within the body. I can't breathe. Lots of people when they're talking about panic and anxiety experience that shallowness of breath. So where we might think that this is far too simple, it's the beginning of a cycle. And the cycle that I'm going to talk about, does, I don't know if anybody in the room knows this cycle. No? Maybe some of you will be revisiting it, others I'll be introducing it to. This is a Gestalt cycle of awareness, also known as a Gestalt cycle of experience. And it's about the self and how the self reacts to the environment. It begins with a sensation grows into an awareness, onto mobilisation and into action, gaining full and final contact, receiving satisfaction and then withdrawal. What does that mean? Let me give you an example. The sensation that I'm feeling right here and now is I feel a dryness in my mouth, I can notice 
that my tongue is slightly curled at the edges. The, f the feeling of air in my throat. The emotion is, I need something. Because an emotion will generally begin between sensation and awareness. The awareness is, I need a drink. Can I, how can I get a drink is a mobilization. It's gaining enough energy, excitement within the body to actually mobilize us into action. The action will be to walk to the kitchen, turn on the tap and pour myself a drink. So with the awareness that I need a drink, recognizing I have enough energy to do that, that my need is so needful, then I go to the kitchen, turn on the tap, fill a glass, that's the action. To gain full and final contact, I don't pour it over my head. I don't stick my feet in it. What I do is I drink. I don't drink 10 gallons and oversaturate myself. I don't take just a sip. I know when I have taken enough. And that is when I will have full and final contact. In that, I have satisfaction. And from then, the need for a drink withdraws. And I wait in the fertile void for the next sensation to appear. Does that make sense? Oh, lovely, lots of nodding heads. So, I feel the sensation, a dryness in my throat, slight curling of the tongue, awareness, I need a drink. I could go to the kitchen, get myself up. I go to the kitchen. I don't interrupt myself. But when I get there, there's a small fire. Somebody's left the frying pan on and it's burning. I don't go to the tap to get myself a drink. The primary driver is to stay alive. So my sensation may be fear. My sensation may be it's rather warm in here. My awareness is I need to do something about this. A new gestalt has begun and I've left the having a drink. The mobilization is do something before my life is in danger. I may use the tap and the water to actually dampen a tea towel, throw it over the frying pan, then switch off the electricity which would be the full and final contact. The satisfaction is I'm not going to get burnt. I will still be alive. It is only then that the need for a drink comes up. There will always be a primary driver to survive. And it is often only after that need is met that this gestalt reappears.